in case you're wondering I smell like an elf. So today I wanted to do like a closet staples, things that I couldn't live without type video. Um, I have quite a few things sitting next to me. These are the things that like, if they left my wardrobe, I would have to rebuy immediately or I don't know what I'd do with myself. Um, this was highly requested, so I just thought I'd knock it out of the way. I'm not sure if this will be helpful, but I thought it could be because you guys see my whole wardrobe like across my social media, whereas these things are just like the staple core items that I couldn't live without. Like if I had to live out of a suitcase for a little while, these all of these things would come with me in one way or another. Um, so let's get started. I think I'm gonna do accessories first and then move into clothing. Um, the first thing that I wanna talk about is a pair of sunglasses. Um, these sunglasses I couldn't live without at this point. You guys will know them, they're these sunnies that I wear all the time. These I bought when I went to Byron Bay last year. They're from a brand called Happy To Sit On Your Face. I got them in a vintage store. Um, you guys sold these out when I started posting about them and I don't think they're gonna restock. They've never replied to my emails with me asking, um, but I don't think they're going to. These are just really, really cool. I'm pretty sure they're like, Gucci knockoffs, but I don't really care. But yeah, these ones specifically, I don't think I could live without. These are colors that I wear all the time. So I wear these glasses all the time. I think bigger glasses suit me because I do have a bit of a longer head and just with my hair, I think these look really nice. Um, if you think they're ugly, I don't care. The next thing will be a shock to literally no one and that is bucket hats. Um, again, I know these are kind of going out of trend, but I don't really care. I swear by these, especially this one. Um, this lack of color hat I got as a gift. I wear this all the time. I just think it looks really good. It looks cool. It dresses up and up. It dresses down and out there. As well as that, being an Australian, you know, the sun is really full on. So it's worth having a decent hat that like covers my entire face. Um, this one's really great. It is a little bit expensive. I think it's $100. Um, however, I would repurchase this exact one. I don't think I could live without it. It washes really well considering the amount that I've worn it. It's held up really, really well. Like it looks brand new apart from my makeup on the inside. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this hat's perfect. I also have this one, which is from Charlotte Simone. I don't know if they do these anymore. I think they're now just on their coat bullshit, um, which I love. I think they're so, so cool. Um, but I've had this one for a lot longer and this is more like my winter hat. It's definitely a lot more fun. She goes with more outfits as well. This hat's just really special to me. To own a Charlotte Simone piece is like really, really cool. And to have this is really, really awesome because it matches my personal style so well. The way that I wear this hat the most is to elevate a really basic outfit. Like for example, if I wore this shirt, my black mini skirt, and some boots putting this on just makes it look like i've put in so much more effort and it looks way cooler um and that's my favorite thing about these hats is that they really just elevate the look again accessories elevate and that's why i love them so much i have a lot of bags so this was really really hard to narrow down but i have narrowed it down to three and i'm going to go through each of them the first one is my coach bag i bought this at an outlet uh for about 50 dollars with the charm it is so beautiful it's like a burgundy sort of fake croc vibe um and the gold hardware at this point i didn't want to touch gold you know i run a stone and silver jewelry business i didn't really touch gold but this bag sort of made me realize that i can mix gold and silver i know there's so many people against that but i don't care um this bag fits everything in it when i talk about this bag on tiktok a lot of people compare it to the parker bag which i think is the closest thing that they have right now um but this has been out of stock for a couple of years now but yeah it's my baby i'm so happy that i got it it was literally like the last one on the bottom shelf in the corner and the store was just like packed with people like literally to the brim and i literally just like grabbed it like that i didn't see anybody else with one and i'm just so so happy that my sister convinced me to get this these two bags came into my life as i was working on my personal style a bit more and accepting that like i did want to wear a bit more color in my outfits i'm going to talk about this one first this one was actually a gift from my mom it's from Maggie Gaba. um they don't sell this exact one anymore but they sell really cute bags if you're looking for them it's like a furry sort of pink and red it's got I think faux leather trimming I don't think it's real leather um and then again the inside it's not as big as the other one but it still fits a shit ton in this bag it's truly become a staple I get messages about this bag weekly asking if I will sell it I'm never letting go of this bag it's my favorite thing I've spoken about this bag so much that I don't want to go into too much detail um <laughs> But it's from Ruiz. They so kindly sent this to me, like literally before they launched. I was one of the first people to get one and I was so incredibly honored. Um, I love that it like is a gradient sort of style. I remember I went into Harold's, which is like a fancy store here in Sydney. And one of the people was like, oh my God, is that a buy far bag? And I was like, no, but I totally get what you're talking about. Um, I love this detail here. I love how structured it is. I think it's fantastic. It looks really small, but I've spoken about this on here before. This fits so much. I think these bags are so worth it. If you're looking for a bag like this, try Ruiz. 
um, I think that they're amazing. They're pretty reasonably priced too, and it got to me super quickly. So um, yeah, I love her. The last accessory that I'm gonna talk about is shoes. I have three pairs of shoes to talk about. They're all quite different from each other, and I wear them all for different scenarios, but I genuinely couldn't live without each of them. Um, first pair that I'm gonna talk about really quickly, Reebok Club C's. I think they're awesome. Um, if I didn't have these, I'd probably get a New Balance 550. That just sort of shape is what I love the most in a sneaker right now. I've had these four years maybe, um, and they're still doing pretty well. These shoes have really taken a lot of force. Um, when I worked in retail, this was my shoe. This is the only shoe that I wore. Um, on top of that, if I'm going to a festival, if I'm going away for a few days, if I need to be on my feet for a really long time, this is just the shoe that I go for. Um, I can't recommend these enough. If you don't have a pair, go do it. Like they're so, so comfortable. And this will be like my staple sneaker for the rest of my life. I think like, I think I'll just repurchase these forever. The next shoe that I want to talk about is the ASOS Cali knee high boot. Now I have these in black as well. So just imagine this in black. I want to talk about both of them, but I've just got this one up to show you. Um, basically I was originally so kindly sent the black ones by ASOS. Um, and I loved them so much that when these came back into stock, I bought them. They're the perfect heel height. They go with everything. They're so comfortable. They've got quite a bit of room for your leg. Um, they're just amazing. These I had seen on, I believe, Evie, like Love Evie, and I was so obsessed with them. I fell in love, but they were sold out in my size, and I just put an alert on, and one came up for a return, and I bought them immediately, and then they never came back into stock again. This was quite literally the last pair. Um, I love them so, so much. They are so cool. I love the color. I thought I was going to have a struggle styling them, but... I wear these so often it's a joke um, as well as the black ones I wear them both all the time but I want to show these ones because I probably wear them more and just with the other shoe that I'm gonna show I probably couldn't live without these ones more than the other the reason that I say I couldn't live without the green but I could probably live without the black is because this is the last shoe that I'm gonna show you the Chloe Betty rain boot is the best purchase I have ever made they are so comfortable they are classic they are really cool I mean okay they're classic to me they may not be classic but they're so incredibly cool. They're relatively inexpensive for a designer shoe. This was my first like designer purchase, like big spend. And I just love them so much. I know so many of you guys have bought them because of me and I still can't believe that. That's just like fucking surreal. But I truly believe that these shoes are just like the best ever. If anything ever happened to them, I would actually spend the money and repurchase them in a heartbeat. Let's get into clothes. So I'm gonna start with tops. If you follow me on Instagram for a while, you'd probably be thinking Jolly's gonna show us the realization part of Hercules T. And for a really long time, you were right. However, its spot has been taken and I can't believe that I'm saying that because I never thought I would, but it has been taken by this t-shirt. This tee, I get questions on this all the fucking time. If you like it, go buy one. Please go support this girl. Um, this is from Anna Wetton. Um, I will leave all of her details in the description. This t-shirt is everything. She makes a bunch of amazing t-shirts. I have quite a few of them, but it would be this one that I couldn't live without. It's the perfect fit. It's just everything about it is exactly what I wanted. I don't know what I would do without it anymore. And it's just so cool. And it's a little bit different. It's special. I don't need to say more. I really don't. Go and buy one. This last one has a little bit of a funny story to it. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I made a TikTok saying that I'm actually thinking about selling this. And this is truly the dumbest thing that I've ever said in my life. I'm gonna keep this forever and I don't know what I would ever do without it. My marine set top. There are so many ways to wear this. I truly believe that these are worth the money if you love them. Um, I thought on this for a really long time before I bought one and then I got it on Farfetch with 10% off. So I did get a bit of a deal on it, um, but I've worn it so, so, so much. I love wearing it on its own, under things, like dressed up, dressed down. Like I think this kind of has potential with a black pant or a skirt. Like this is a way that I would style it. I think that it's just such a perfect layering piece. It looks amazing. You're supporting a great up and coming designer I just think these are so cool. I actually really want one. Like if she ever redoes black with a color or just like a double color one, I probably would buy it. I also really love the blue one that they did last season, but I cannot find it anywhere. Um, and I'm also trying to save my money, so I probably just them. This is an awesome like 
I want to look like I've put in effort, but I also want to be really comfy and lazy kind of top. Like everyone's like, oh my god, wow, that looks so good, blah, blah, blah. But in reality, you just put a shirt on. I only have one sweater to talk about. I wish I had more, but to be honest, when I look at my sweaters, there was only one that I would be truly upset if it went missing and I would have to repurchase. This is my Paloma Wool Twister sweater. It's just so comfortable. It looks good with everything. It's not scratchy at all because I get that question a lot. I love styling this casually or dressing it up like for dinner or something. Thing. This is just a great all around kind of sweater. Yeah, I have a lot of sweaters that I wear all the time. Like, I was gonna bring my purple one that has the daisy on the front, but I do feel that I could live without that. Whereas this one, I would actually be devastated because it is such a staple in my wardrobe. Like, when I'm talking about staples, this is it because it goes with literally every single thing. Like, you can't miss with this. You really can't. It's so amazing. Um, it has slouched a little bit over time, but I actually prefer that, so I'm pretty happy with it. There are two pieces of outerwear that I couldn't live without. Um, both of these I can't get anymore, so if I actually lost these or they like something happened to them, I would lose my shit. I'm not even going to lie. These are so special to me. Um, the first one that I want to talk about, and don't talk about the cat hair on it because I just saw my cat has been sleeping on it. No shock to anyone at all at all this is my favorite thing in the world this is probably my most prized possession in my wardrobe probably apart from my chloe boots this i hunted down for years at a price point oh my god my hair that i could actually justify these are impossible to find like under a couple of hundred dollars i got this for 200 dollars on ebay a large which i loved because again this with the paloma wool sweater underneath and like some jeans the easiest casual outfit ever and you're so warm. I will never part with this. I will be an 85 year old woman wearing a supreme jacket and I'm no hype beast. I just, there's something about this jacket that is so special and cool to me. It is my favorite thing, my pride and joy. I love her so much and I am now officially a proud hype beast. If you're shocked by this next one, I genuinely like don't know what to tell you because it is such a staple. Like, especially if you watch my Instagram stories, I wear this all the time. My vintage leopard print vest. Now, I thought everybody was gonna think this is hideous. I think it's cool. Most people thought it was cool. I did get a couple jolly what the fuck are you thinking messages. Um, but I think it's really cool. It's a really easy way to elevate just like a simple, simple outfit. It's also reversible, so I can wear it just plain black if I want to, which I love. She's also like velour. I just, I love it so much. You know, you have that thing where like you pull it out and your friends are like, are you okay? But also it's kind of cool. That is this for me. Um, in saying that, that is most of my wardrobe. My friends kind of think I'm insane, but they still love me. My casual lockdown look outfits consist of this with a long sleeve white tee and some leggings or bike shorts with my Reeboks. I just love this. It makes me feel cool. And I feel like that's what personal style and closet staples all about things that make you feel good about yourself and this makes me feel good about myself okay we've only got two more sections to go um this next one i'm going to do is dresses and i wanted to do a dressy dress and then a more casual dress because that's what i honestly couldn't live without and the casual dress that i could not live without is again shock to no one this hold it back realization pa elton john collab dress this dress is so special i love this style my sister has the red one um and i just think it looks so cool um it fits me perfectly if you're a bigger busted gal you can wear a bra with this which is my favorite thing about it um it's a really nice length on me i'm 5 7 and it also looks really good with most of the other closet staples in my wardrobe like if i wore it with my supreme jacket or i actually wore it to my sister's birthday this year with my paloma wool sweater over the top i feel like this was like realization pa's peak and i'm so happy that i own this because you can't find it anymore and like they're very hard to find on depop i will never part with this i think it's so so special and yeah just to own something from this collab is so cool. Now I sat for quite a while trying to decide which of my dressy dresses that I was going to show you guys um, because I truly love them both so much and I decided that I don't love one more than the other so I could not live without both of these. I'm going to talk about both of them separately but these are just my babies. So this one is from C Yellow Studio. I've already spoken about her in like three videos. Um, this is what the dress looks like. It's got this gorgeous like bar kind of scene along the bottom if you can see it. It's just like the most special thing. Um, this was so kindly gifted to me and I still cannot believe that. This is probably not something I would have purchased for myself, but I'm so happy that I own it and ever since I've just been so obsessed with her brand. The stuff that she makes is art to me, especially this. It's just so special. Um, 
and yeah i don't think i could live without it this dress makes me feel sexy and cool and powerful and badass and just like everything that i want to feel when i wear a dress so i love her this on the other hand is probably what i get questions about the most when i post about it on tiktok um this is from urban outfitters this is the urban outfitters i believe april dress i got this at the start of the year in a size down because it was the last one on a whim because i just saw it while i was searching the website and it is just like my favorite thing in the world the print on it is just so special it's different on every single dress as well that i've seen um it just makes me feel like a hot garden fairy um and it fits me like a glove this is the first time i put something on and i was like wow jolly you feel beautiful um so this is why this dress means so much to me again i don't think i could ever part with it even if it didn't fit me anymore it's just so beautiful again another like work of art kind of piece like this is so special and if i showed you this you wouldn't be like oh that's urban outfitters you know what i mean like i just feel like it's so beautiful it's so special i just it's gonna be a staple in my wardrobe forever. I'm gonna make sure I fit into it forever because I don't know what I'd do if I couldn't wear it. Okay, we're on the home stretch. Last section is bottoms. I've got four pairs to show you and these are all gonna be no surprise to anyone. Um, first one I'm gonna show you is a skirt. Well, um, actually a skirt. I don't even know what to say. Like, if you've seen any video of mine, you know about this skirt. This is the Tiger Miss Daphne skirt. I got this at the start of the year. I don't think I could live without this. It is truly a closet staple. I wear this multiple times a week. I've got so many people onto this so well. That V-cut just does wonders for a body, to be honest. Size up if you want it to fit in the way that mine does. Um, but I truly think this is the best thing ever. I love it so much. And yeah, this is something that I genuinely couldn't live without. Bring skirts back. Everybody's gonna talk about jeans in a closet staples video, but I have a very specific style of jeans and it took me a really, really long time to find the pair that I like. I wanted something mid to low rise and I wanted it to be really baggy. This is the Motel Rocks Parallel Jean. Um, I got these when I worked with them on a TikTok and I just think they're the best things that I own. They're the perfect length, the perfect wash, the perfect everything. They're that proper, like not stretchy denim, like they're really quite good. I love these. I love them so, so much. These are something that I'll have forever. These are just great. Like I would immediately repurchase these if they went away. I have not put on another pair of jeans since I got these. Next, we're gonna talk about what I like to call my fancy pants. Now, I have two pairs of fancy pants. They look very different to each other, but they both fit into the same category. Now, first one, again, shocker. My d &G pants that I got vintage. These are a good like dress up, dress down fancy pant. Like I can wear these with a corset and heels, or I can wear them just with like a t-shirt and sneakers and they work wonders they're like a low rise they're a little bit big on me they're worn in which is great they do have a couple of little marks on them but it's okay because i take really good care of them i know you're not going to be able to buy these so i just want to give an alternative it's these jaded london pants i have these as well and i love them just as much and i think if i didn't have these they would be the closet staple that i'd be putting here i wear them just as much to each other but if i had to pick it would be these ones um i just love them they're so special they give off amelia pucci energy and again these are something that i'll just have forever this is truly a staple the last pair that i want to talk about may not come out as often and you guys may not see them um but they are truly a closet staple and i don't know what i'd do without them there's going to be a little bit of a story with them but i think i'll show you first they are the img zinnia pants i believe they're so comfortable they go with so much they're really cool like i've worn these just to like pizza with friends but i've also worn them like clubbing like these are just a good everything pant story goes i bought these four or five years ago when they came out the first time i wore them all over europe when i went i wore them everywhere i love them to death and then for reasons i don't want to get into i had to get rid of them um i basically just sold them and i couldn't find them again i immediately regretted it i felt like shit. i wanted them back so bad could never find them at a reasonable price or in my size and then one day they were like we're redoing them we changed the name these were originally the ex tina pants um but they're exactly the same thing i'm so happy that i own them i've worn them so much since i got them mix and match with everything that i've shown you you know they're just fantastic pants they're a great great length they're a little bit 
long, but I like wearing them with boots, so it works out fine. It goes really nicely. Um, but yeah, these are also my pride and joy, and I'm never getting rid of them again. So that's it. That's the end of my closet staples video. Those are truly things that I could not live without, as much as I have a lot of beautiful things that I love so, so much. If I lost any of these, I don't know what I'd do with myself. This is truly my, if I had to live out of a suitcase, this is what I would bring kind of stuff. Um, I'm so happy that I got to share it with you guys. If you guys have any questions about anything, or you think that there's something that I may have missed, please leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think, because I think there's a lot of things that I wear on my Instagram quite a lot that aren't here that I think people might be surprised by. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye!